Ευλογητός ο Θεός Σιμών πάντοτε νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Άμου μη εν οδό αλληλούια, ευλογητός η Κύριε, δίδαξον με τα δικαιώματά σου. Αλληλούια. Επεπόθησεν η ψυχή μου, του επιθυμήσε, τα κρίματα σου εν παντή καιρό. Mm. Αλληλούια. My soul is grown drowsy from weariness. Strengthen me with your words. Αλληλούια. Κλείνον την καρδία mm. μου εις τα μαρτυρία σου και μη εις πλέον εξίαν. Despondency took hold of me because of sinners, those who forsake your law. Alleluia. Me to chosego imi, pandon ton chobumenon se, ke ton filason don ta sendolasu. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great mercy, we ask you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Alexandros, who has fallen asleep and that he may be forgiven every offence, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord our God may place his soul where the righteous rest for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of his sins. Let us ask Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Alexandros, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Echire su episan me ke plasan me, sinetiso me ke mathiso me, tasendo lasun. Ελέησον με Κύριε. Ότι εγεννήθηνος σας κόσεν πάχνη τα δικαιώματά σου και πελαθόμην. Ελέησον με Κύριε. I am yours, save me, for your judgments have I sought. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Από τον κρυμάτον σου ου και ξεκλίνα ότι σι ενομοθέτησας με ελέησον με Κύριε. I have inclined my heart to perform your judgments forever in recompense. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Καιρός του πείσε το Κύριο διεσκέδασαν το νόμο σου, ελέησον με Κύριε. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγιο Πνεύματι, και νίκαια ή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν, ελέησον με Κύριε, Κύριε. Και ελέησον με Αλληλούια, επίβλεψον επέ με και ελέησον με, κατά το κρίμα των αγαπώντων το όνομά Σου. Αλληλούια! Νεότερος εγώ ημί και εξουδενωμένος τα δικαιώματά Σου που και πελαθόμην. Αλληλούια! Hear my voice, O Lord, in Your mercy and according to Your decision, Give me life, Alleluia. Archontes, kate dioxan me dorean, ke apoton logon su eldiliasen i kardia mu, Alleluia. My soul will live and praise you, and your decisions will be my help. Eplanithin 
ως προβατών απολολός ζήτησον τον δούλον σου ότι τα σέντολά σου που κεπελαθόμι. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your judgments. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost. Savior, call me back and save me. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου. Ο παλεμέν εκμειών των πλάσα με και εικόνη σου θεία τιμή σα. Παραβάσει εντολή δε πάλι με επιστρέψα. Ει γυναίξη ελήφθην. Ει το καθομίο συνεπανάγαγε το αρχαίον καλό. Αναμορφώσα δε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your judgments. I am an image of your inexpressible glory, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. In your loving kindness, Master, have compassion and cleanse the person you have formed. Grant me the homeland for which I long for, and once again make me a citizen of paradise. <laughs> Αναπαυσόν ο Θεό των δούλων σου και κατάταξον αυτόν εν παραδείσο. Όπου χωρί των Αγίων κύριε και οι δικαίοι εκλάμψου συνόσχο στήρε. Των και κοιμημένων δούλων σου ανάπαυσον παρορών αυτού. Πάντα τα εγκλήματα. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly raise our voice in praise of the threefold radiance of the one God. Holy are you, eternal Father, co-eternal Son and divine Spirit. Fill us with light who worship you in faith and rescue us from the eternal fire. And in ke ai ke istus eonas ton eonon amin Κερεσέμνη η Θεόν σαρκιτεκούσα ει πάντων σωτηρίαν. Δι γένο των ανθρώπων ευρατό την σωτηρίαν. Δια σου ευρυμέν παράδεισον. Θεότο και αγνή ευλογημένη. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Δόξα σι ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Δόξα σι ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Δόξα σι ο Θεό. With the saints, give rest, O Christ, to the soul of your servant. Where there is no pain, no sorrow or suffering, but life everlasting. What pleasure in life ever remains unmixed with sorrow? What glory stands on earth unchanged? All are more feeble than a shadow, all more deceptive than dreams. One moment and death comes to them all. But in the light of your countenance, O Christ, and in the sweetness of your beauty, give rest to the one whom you have chosen as a loving God. As a flower withers, and as a dream passes, so everyone comes to an end. Yet at the sound of the trumpet, all the dead, as in an earthquake, will rise to meet you, Christ our God. Then, Master, place the spirit of your servant, whom you have taken from us, in the dwellings of your saints. All worldly things are vanity and do not survive after death. Riches do not remain, nor does glory travel with us on the way. For when death comes, all these vanish away. Wherefore, let us cry out to Christ, the immortal King, give rest to the one departed from us in the dwelling place where all rejoice. Truly fearful is the mystery of death, 
how the soul from the body is separated by force from its harmony and this natural bond of union by divine will is severed. Wherefore we implore you give rest to the departed one in the tent of your righteous, O giver of life and loving God. I remembered the prophet crying out, I am earth and dust. And again I looked in the tombs and saw the naked bones and I said, who is this, king or soldier, rich or poor, righteous or sinner? But give rest among the righteous to your servant, O Lord, as a loving God. My beginning and my substance come from your command that fashioned me. For it was your will to form me into a living creature from nature both visible and invisible. From the earth you formed my body. By your divine and life-giving breath you gave me a soul. Wherefore, O Christ, give rest to your servant in the land of the living in the tents of the righteous. Give rest, O life-giving Saviour, to our brother, whom you have removed from this temporary world as he cries out, Glory to you. I mourn and I lament when I contemplate death, and I see our beauty that was made in the image of God lying in the graves, disfigured without glory and without form. Oh, how strange indeed! What is this mystery that has come upon us? How have we been given to corruption and united together with death? Truly, as is written, it is by God's command, he who gives rest to the departed. Δόξα πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, ο θάνατος Σου Κύριε, αθανασίας γέγονε πρόξενος, ημί γαρεμνήματι κάτε τέθης, ούκαν ο παράδοσος ηναίοκτον, διό τον μεταστάνταν άπαυσον ως φιλάνθρωπο. Και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, Αγνή Παρθένε του Λόγου Πύλη, του Θεού ημών μύτη, ηγέτευε, ελεηθήνε την ψυχήν αυτού. Blessed be the road in which you travel on today. For a place of rest has been prepared for you. Macaria, Iodos, in for evisimeron, otitimas disi. Blessed be the road in which you travel on today, for a place of rest has been prepared for you. Προσε κύριε και κράξω με ο Θεός μου. Προσχομεν. Προς Θεσσαλονίκης πρώτης επιστολής. Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα, Σοφία πρόσχομεν, αδελφοί, που θέλω ημάς αγνοήν, περί των και κοιμημένων, ή να μη λυπήστε καθώς και οι λυποί, και μη έχονται σε ελπίδα, ή γαρπιστεύομεν, ότι η Ιησούς απέθανε και ανέστη, ούτω και ο Θεός, τους κοιμηθέντας δια του Ιησού, άξι εισήν αυτό, τούτο γαριμήν λέγομεν, εν λόγω Κυρίου, ότι οι μη συζώντες ή περιλυπόμενοι εις την παρουσίαν του Κυρίου που μη φτάσομε εν τους κοιμηθέντας, ότι αυτός ο Κύριος εν κελεύσματι, εν φωνή αρχαγγέλου και εν σάλπιγη Θεού καταβήσεται από ουρανού και οι νεκροί εν Χριστό αναστήσονται πρώτον. Έπειτα οι μη συζώντες ή περιλυπόμενοι, άμα συναυτείς αρπαγισόμεθα, εν εφέλες εις απάντησιν του Κυρίου εις αέρα και ούτω πάντοτε συν Κυρίο εσώμεθα. Peace be with you, the reader. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Wisdom, stand and attend. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. 
Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Eleison imas o Theos kata to mega eleos o Theo methaos e pakusu ke eleison. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Ido metha iperan apavsis tis psichis tu ke kimimenu dulu tu Theo Alexandru. Και υπέρ του συγχωρηθεί είναι αυτό, παμπλημέλημα, εκούσιον τε και ακούσιον. Κύριε Λέισον, Κύριε Λέισον, Κύριε Λέισον. Όπως Κύριος ο Θεός τάξει την ψυχήν αυτού, εν θα οι δίκαιοι εναπαύονται, τα ελέη του Θεού την βασιλεία των ουρανών και άφεσιν των αυτού αμαρτιών παρά Χριστό του αθανάτου βασιλεί και Θεό ημών ετισόμεθα. Παράσου, Κύριε. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death, made the devil powerless and given life to your world. Give rest, Lord, to the soul of your servant, Alexandros, who has fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of peace, in a place of joy, where there is no pain, sorrow or suffering. Gracious and merciful God, forgive every sin committed by him, whether in word, deed or thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin, your righteousness is eternal, and your word is the truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Alexandros, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who is immortal King, has power over the living and the dead, and who rose from the dead through the intercessions of his all-pure Holy Mother, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of our holy and God-bearing fathers and mothers, of the holy and glorious forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of his holy and righteous friend Lazarus, who was four days in the tomb, and of all the saints, place the soul of his servant Alexandros, who was departed from us, in the tent of the righteous. Grant him rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number him among the righteous, and have mercy on us as a good and loving God. Eonia Shemenimi, Akshumagariste, Kiaimniste, Adelfeimon. May your memory be eternal, however memorable and worthy of blessedness, brother. Eonia Shumanimi Akshomagariste Ge Aimniste Adelfeimon. Eonia Imnimi Eonia Imnimi Eonia Imnimi Aftu Uh... 
Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Dear friends and family of Alex, as we're here today to pray for his soul, we also reflect on what we heard in the prayers and in the Holy Scriptures, the mystery of death. We heard in the many prayers that were said today how this mystery can be a double-edged sword. How on the one hand, it can cut us, it can hurt us, and it can fill us with mourning. But on the same, at the same time, how much hope we are given even through this mystery. The last prayer that we read spoke of God as our hope. We give glory to God, saying, Glory to you, O God, our hope, we say, glory to you. We even chanted, Blessed be the road which you travel on today, for a place of rest has been prepared for you. And so then we reflect and we think how different our understanding of death is with Christ as Christians. The world, society, usually tells us to live our life until we die. Christ tells us something totally opposite. To die so that we can live. Usually at funerals many people say we are here to celebrate the life of our loved one. Christ tells us we are here to celebrate his entry into life from now onwards. Because as we hear and know the reality of death, that everything here is for here. But from now onwards, we are promised something much greater that can be possibly be given to us here. And that is life. Life is not a state of existence. Life is a person. And that, that life is Christ who gives us a promise just before he raises his own friend from the dead, Lazarus. He says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Not I have life, I am the life. He who believes in me shall never die. And even though they shall die, they will live. And it was just this morning when I woke up and I was, what I was doing, my usual, what my usual routine, wake up, make my coffee and sit down and read a little bit before I start my day. And I just happened to be reading this morning from the book of Revelation. Probably many of you have heard about Revelation, but in a very negative context. It's actually a very hopeful book for us. And I came across the passage just this morning of Christ, the Son of Man, coming to defeat evil and taking all those who hoped in him, all those who have died from this life as it says, and he wipes away the tears from their eyes and he takes from them all their pain and all their sorrow and he gives them comfort these are the last words of the book of Revelation and so brothers and sisters most of us some of us as our brother Alex was was given the identity as a Christian and so we have something much greater to look forward to from now onwards from the grave onwards and things don't end just here. 
And this is why St. Paul says to us, not to mourn like those who have no hope. In other words, for us as humans, as people, mourning is part of it. We will feel sorrow at the absence of our loved one. Who can't say that they don't feel pain and sorrow when someone leaves this life? I feel it as well, just as much as you do. But like those, he says, who have no hope. So yes, there will be an absence from now on, a physical absence. There will be absence in the family home, at the fam family table, at family functions. But only to be reminded that he is back home. Back in the most natural place where we all belong. And if we were asked, or we were to ask our loved ones, and I truly believe this, if we were to ask our loved ones who have left from this life, come back and be with us, they would say to us, no, you come and join us here, the place where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. But we are comforted by the heavenly grace of God our Father in his kingdom. Amen. May God rest his soul eternally in paradise and give all of you strength and comfort to continue your journey as well. Just before we conclude, I want to announce that after you come and you pay your respects to Alex, um, the burial service will be at Kilo Cemetery and the family have kindly asked all of you to return back to the church hall for a meal of mercy in memory of Alex. So μετά από τον ενταφιασμό που θα γίνει στο κημητήριο του Κύλο, η οικογένεια σας προσκαλεί να έρθείτε πίσω στο χώρο της εκκλησίας για το συγχώριο του αιμνίστου Αλεξάνδρου. Ο Θεός να τον αναπαύσει και καλό παράδεισο να έχει. Κρίση 